setting up a drive, the first step is to mount the drive. Install the drive on the backplate by using the template as a guide. Frame 1 and 2 drives will use 3 mounting screws and then frame 3 drives will use a 4th mounting screw as well. To mount the drive on DIN rail, press the DIN rail release clip, slide into position and then release the clip once the drive is secure. Step 2 is to wire your drive. Start by connecting your motor earth followed by your motor phase cables. Then your supply earth, followed by your supply cables. Once you've connected all of your power cables, move to the control wiring. There's a wiring guide available in the step-by-step -step guide and in Marshall. Start by connecting your analog inputs and analog output to the first row, then move to the second row which are for your digital inputs and your digital output. and then the top row for the relay connections. This video is for configuring a Commander S100 while it has been powered up using Marshall. To start, download Marshall by scanning the QR code on the top of the drive and following the link to the App Store. Once Marshall downloaded, open the app and select connect. Scan the top of the drive, and then select fast start from the drive dashboard. This will take you through four key steps to get you up and running. The first step being motor. My motor rated voltage is correct at the default value of 230 volts. So I set my motor rated current, my motor rated speed, and my motor power factor. I then perform a spin test by downloading a preset configuration to the drive for the test and then holding the up and down keys to run the motor at a jog speed. I check that the motor runs in the correct direction. And then complete the spin test. I want to select the type of control I use. I don't want to use keypad control, I want to use local remote. And then run forward, run reverse to run and stop the drive. And then I want to use a hardware enable. You can then view a wiring guide if you wish. I want to set your acceleration and deceleration rates. I use the default values. And then the same with the maximum speed and the minimum speed that the motor should turn at. Then write the project back to the drive and then finish the fast start. I can then test by selecting my local reference using digital input 5. I then enable the drive using digital input 2 and give the drive a run forward using digital input 3. And then reduce the speed by lowering the voltage on analog input 2. Remove the run forward and the drive will decel to a stop. And that is the Commander S100 configured using Marshall.